Good day, viewers. Welcome back to our chemistry class. Today, we are going to be looking at the mold concepts. Just before we move on, if you are a new member of this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. Now, the mold concepts. When we talk about mold, we need to first of all go back to our matter. We have given a definition of matter in our previous class classes. But this matter contains some elementary units, such as atoms, electrons, protons, neutrons, and as well, molecules. Now, scientists have looked at this, scientists have looked at this elementary unit to be are very to, to be very small to the naked eye to be seen. In this case, instead of using the word counting to count these elementary units, we are going to be using weighing. The concepts of weighing these elementary units is what we refer to as the mole concept. The mole can be related or can be likened to a bag of rice that contains some grains. So the whole bag of rice is called the mold, while the grains are the elementary units. This cannot take us to the definition of mold. The mold of a substance can be defined as the amount of a chemical substance contain as many elementary units as there are in carbon-12 atoms. So the amount of elementary units that can be found in one atom of carbon-12 is what we refer to as the mole. Now, what are the formulas for calculating mole? There are about six formulae for calculating mole, but we're going to talk about just four in this class. Let's move on. Formulae for calculating mole. As I said, we are going to be looking at four formulae for calculating mole. It is not only formula that can be used. We can also use what we call from first principle. But let's look at this formulae. The first one, amount equals to mass of elements over molar mass. Whereas this molar mass can be also be said relative molecular mass. Where number N stands for the amount equals to mass over molar mass. Don't forget the unit of your mass is in grams, while the unit of your molar mass is in gram per mole. We've done this in our previous classes. Two, amount equals to number of particles divided by Avogadro's constant. That is N, which is the amount equals to number of particles over L, where L is the Avogadro's constant, is constant, which is 6.02 multiplied by 10 to the power 23. When we say particles in this place, particles could mean atoms, molecules, ions, and so on. So particles can be atoms, can be molecules, can be ion, all those ones, they are all particles. Number three, amount equals to concentration multiplied by volume. That is N equals to CV. In this way, for, for us to use this formula, our concentration must be in mole per dm cube. That is, the unit of concentration is in mole per dm cube, while the unit of our volume must be in decimeter cube. If your volume is given in centimeter cube, it should be converted to decimeter cube by dividing it by 1,000. So, now, this n equals to cv can be, uh, it, it can be modernized or it can be improved when we are given different concentrations. So we are going to have C1, V1 equals to C2, V2. And this one is called law of dilution or dilution law. So C1, V1 equals to C2, V2. The number four, amount equals to volume of gas divided by gram molar volume. That is N equals to V, volume of gas over GMV. Where GMV is equals to 22.4 decimeter cube or 22,400 centimeter cube. It depends on if your volume is given in centimeter cube, we are going to be using 22,400 centimeter cube for GMV. If 
our volume is given in decimeter key, we are going to use our GMV to be 22.4 decimeter key. Example one, how many moles are in 15.0 grams of carbon atoms? Where the atomic mass of carbon is given to be 12. Now, to solve any question, the first thing is, let us understand the question. Secondly, write out the parameters. Then the third one is, since we have written out the parameters, compare the parameters with the given formula. Then from that, then you pick the formula to use, write it down. Then undergo your substitution, then we can now find out the unknown variable. Now let's look at this. How many moles are in 15 grams of carbon atom? Now we know that anything in grams means mass. It means mass of carbon is 15.0 gram. So mass of carbon, let me represent carbon as C equals to 15.0 grams. Now, how many moles? Meaning you want to find N, N is standing for the number of moles, don't forget the amount. Number of moles is unknown. So from here, our mass is given to be 15.0 grams. Our amount, this is the number of moles, is unknown. And from this question, we are given the molar mass of carbon to be 12. So molar mass of carbon is 12. That is gram per mole. Now, from the formula, we have written so far, which of the formula we are to use? Yes, of course, formula one. Formula one says number of amount, that's amount equals to mass over molar mass. From here, we want to find the n, which is number of mole. n equals to our mass here is given as 15 divided by molar mass is given as 12. So when you divide, 3 goes here, we have 4, 3 goes here, we have 5. So we are going to have 1.25 mole. Example 2 calculates the mass of ion present in 0 0.025 mole of ion finance, given the molar mass of ion to be 56.0. Now, calculate the mass of ion. So let's write mass of ion is Fe, unknown. So we want to calculate that. Present in 0 0.025 mole. Anything in mole is your amount, N as a unit of mole. So N equals to 0 0.025 mole. So the unit of amount is MOL, which is the mole. Then the molar mass, molar mass of iron equals to 56.0. So grams per watt per mole. When you look at this, we have, we're looking for our mass, we have N and we are we have molar mass. Definitely, we are going to use formula one, which says N equals to mass over molar mass. That is amount equals to mass over molar mass. Now, from here, now we want to calculate our M. Let us cross multiply. Let's see over one here, M times one. M equals to N multiplied by molar mass. So what is our N? Our N is 0 0.025 multiplied by, our molar mass is 56. So when you multiply them, we have 1.40. So since we are looking for mass, the unit of mass is in what? Grams. Example three, if 0 0.123 mole of an element X weighs 8.0 grams, what is the relative atomic mass of X, of that element X? Now let us interpret this as well. If 0 0.123 mole of an element. Anything in mole is our N, which is the amount, is equal to 0 0.123 mole of element X, element X, weighs 8.0 grams. Anything in grams is our mass, mass of that element X equals to 8.0 grams. Then what is the relative atomic mass of X? You see, that's atomic mass, this is saying molar mass of X. But when you get the molar mass of S, you will remove the units to get our relative molecular mass, or relative atomic mass of X. We use the word atomic mass because we're dealing with just single elements. If you are dealing with a compound, we talk about relative molecular mass. Now, 
looking at these parameters given to us, N, M, and M, M. When we look at the formula that we have, we're actually going to make use of the first formula, which says amount N equals to mass over molar mass. We want to calculate this M, M over 1, cross multiply, N times this, N multiplied by molar mass is equal to M times 1, M. So from here, our molar mass will equal to mass divided by this N. So what our mass given here? It's divided by 0 0.123. So when we divide here, what do we have? Our final answer is 3.48. So it is molar mass, that is gram per mole. But the question says, we are going to, what is the relative atomic mass? So the relative atomic mass, the relative atomic mass equals to 3.48. So without the units. Example four, calculate the amount of sodium chloride in 20.0 grams of the pure salt. Now, to calculate this, we want to calculate the amount of sodium chloride. That's the number of sodium chloride. NaCl is sodium chloride. Amount is unknown. In 20.0 grams of the pure salt. We know the meaning of grams. That is mass. Mass of sodium chloride equals to 20.0 grams. Now, we are looking for amount, which is the number of mole. We have the mass of sodium chloride. We can get our molar mass from the knowledge of our relative molecular mass in our previous classes. Molar mass, molar mass of NaCl can be gotten as atomic mass of sodium here is 23 plus chlorine is 35.5. So when we had it all, we have 58.5 grams per mole. Now from here, using the first formula, we have number of mole equals to mass over molar mass. Of course, we are asked to calculate the amount of sodium chloride. That is our N. Amount of sodium chloride. We equal to the mass of sodium chloride is 20. Divided by the molar mass, which is 58.5. So when we divide, what do we have? We have 0 0.342. Since we are calculating amounts, the unit is going to be M O L. That is mole. Five. Calculate the amount of sodium in 13.3 grams of pure anhydrous sodium plus carbonate 4. Now to solve this, looking at this, we have that we want to calculate the amount. Amount is N. N of sodium is unknown in 13.3 grams of pure anhydrous. That is mass. You know anything in gram is mass. Mass of sodium is 13. 0.3 grams. Now, but in sodium plus carbonate 4, meaning that we are going to look for the mass of sodium in this sodium plus carbonate 4. Okay, molar mass of sodium plus carbonate 4 first we equals to, what's our atomic mass of sodium is 23 multiplied by 2 plus carbon. Carbon is 12 plus Oxygen. Oxygen is 16 multiplied by 3. So we have this to be 46 plus 12 plus this to be 48. So when we add everything up, we have 106 grams per mole. Now, now to get the number of mole here. So number of mole, number of mole will equal to mass over molar mass. Now number of mole, but the mass of sodium in this sodium plus carbonate 4, when 1 of sodium is 13.3, mass of this is going to be times 2. That is 13.3 multiplied by 2 divided by 1 and 6. So that is, when you multiply this, we are going to have 26.6 divided by 1 and 6. So when we divide this, we are going to have 0 0.251. So the unit of amount is mole. So this is just the first formula of mole. We are going to be looking at the other formulae in our subsequent classes. 
you are a new member of this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. Thank you.